right, as up, it's Mr. Andrew. Today, we're back once again on the Escapist, and today, I gotta figure out how to escape. So, I've been playing around a little bit on my off time, trying to think of how I can escape from this prison, and I think I have a general idea. Uh, unfortunately, it's not bulletproof yet, and it has a few flaws, and one of those flaws is that I need a lot of duct tape, and I always need to run out of duct tape. So, let's make sure I don't get searched real quick here, and I will show you what I look at. Okay, so Martin and Jared are first. I'm going to check everyone real quick, make sure that there's no duct tape in any of these. There's chocolate in that one. I could probably make molten chocolate. Molten chocolate is very good, and it will come in very handy, but I will be using that probably in another day uh, after a save. Because i got to figure out who has the uh, utility key. That's the most important one, I believe. I may also need a... Um, What's the other key? The uh, cell key. So I may try to get both the cell key and the utility key. So I guess I could take a second cup of. I could make a, I could make two cho uh, molten chocolate things. I guess. Yeah, I think that'll work better. But I'm gonna look for some uh, duct tape real quick here. Um, also, I do have a durable contraband. Oh, we got duct tape. Oh, this is glorious. This is good. This is very good. Okay, I'm gonna get in here. Hopefully, I'm not getting in trouble. There's my chocolate that I was looking for. And I hope I can find some duct tape. No, I can't. Okay, so what I need the duct tape for is. Let's see, I need this, this, this. Um, I don't need a pillow at all. And I do need the lighter. Uh, no, I got, I got a lighter. Okay, lighter. Actually, I probably shouldn't make two molten chocolates, and the reason for that is because I'm going to need two plastics. Molten plastic. I don't have anything in my inventory that I see. Okay, so now what I need to do is these two are not contraband, which is great, because then I can walk through that without any issues. Please stop. I don't like that they yell at you when you're coming to where you're supposed to be. So I'm a little bit behind. Don't have to have both of them yell at me. Jeez. Also, I don't have a job. So uh, I think I left that in the last one. I never got around to get another job. I've just kind of been busy looking around trying to figure out how to escape from this place. And I think I finally have a general idea. And I will show you right now where that is. But first, I'm going to take me some forks. One, two, three, four forks. Oh, I kind of want one more fork. I need one more fork for sure. Okay, maybe I can put one there. I can put one in there. Okay, good. I have already come through here. Which means I probably should drop the chocolate. Put this back. Okay, so now what I need to do is drop, drop, drop. Take that in my inventory. Grab this. Put this back. Grab that. Grab this. Put that back. Okay, so now we're going to go through this wall. And what I need is I need the uh, wood over here. And then I think I'm going to dig my tunnel right out of here. Although, I don't know how good of an idea that is because if I... Okay, if I have an issue getting out of here, if I get it through here, what, what's going to happen? I think I need to dig to the left, I believe? Question mark? Not entirely sure what I'm going to do here yet. And there's still a couple ideas that go through my head. And I'm not sure if I'll actually escape in this episode, but I do have an idea of what I want to do, and that is, uh, that's a start, you know. Before I had no idea, now I think I have an idea. Secondly, I need to get ID papers. According to what I uh, have been told, in order to save this one, I have to have ID papers, otherwise uh, they won't let me out the door. So I'll basically be walking out the front door in a guard outfit, pretending to be a guard when I'm not, clearly. And uh, see if I can escape that way. But that's that. Okay, so there's also for sure there are jeeps, and jeeps are evil. Um, according to what I read, jeeps shoot you. They don't even ask questions. They just bang, shoot you. So I have to be really careful. And there's the lighter I was looking for. Yes. Okay, so I can actually get through this door with everything in my list, I think. And what do you have? Ooh, you have a lighter. That's even better. Two lighters. So I just gotta go through here. Um, magazine, put that down. Pick this up, put that down. And then in here, I will make a molten chocolate. Oh, that's not, can't make molten chicken or chocolate chicken. Chocolate chicken 
Ugh, that'd be kind of weird. All right, so I have my molten chocolate. I could run around, knock out a random guard, and I will be good to go. Also, I probably should put that back and eat that, take that. Okay, and now I'm looking for more duct tape. Now, I also do have a contraband pouch that I made out of two, uh, two foil and uh, a duct tape. And I plan on getting out, but this is exotic uh, feather that I got. It was like 35 bucks. It was insane expensive, but hopefully it will come to a point where I can actually use it and we won't have any issues there. But let's see here. I need molten chocolate. I'm going to do that in the beginning of the day because in the beginning of the day, I should be able to find a guard. And if it isn't the right guard, I will have used my molten chocolate where I can just reload and find the right guard. So what I need is I believe a cell key, because that's how you get into... Mm, I might have to check that. I might have to check what the light, what locks in the library. Where it locks and stuff like that. Um, so I don't get in trouble for that. But I'm pretty sure it's a cell key and a utility key. Utility key is actually probably the more important one. Because that's the red one. And that gets me into a guard office. And that is where the supposed uh, ID paper is at. I don't need a roll of, do uh, roll of toilet paper or duct tape. So I'm not duct tape or super glue. Um, because that's just, I don't need it. I probably don't need a medicate either. Um, and what am I doing as far as this? So I need to bring up my strength a little bit and then bring up my speed the rest of the way. Hello, what's your name? What do you have? Glass shard, no thank you. Um, you have the glass, you know what? I'll just take both the glass shards. Ah, uh, fudge, there you go. Hey, wanna be my friend? Glass shard. Now, my original idea was to uh, cover up the camera and see if I can get it out that way, but um, I tried a little test run of digging with a spoon, and as soon as that camera comes back online, whether I'm in the room or not, it freaks out and says, hole, there's a hole, and uh, I get in trouble. So I tested that. That theory will not work, um, which is unfortunate because I thought I could just cover the camera, jump in the hole, and then be fine. <laughs> Now that I've slept, I should be good as far as taking out a guard. And Xavier? Jeez, that's, that's, a, that's an epic name. So I'm just going to take a test run. This will probably get me in a lot of trouble, but... Okay, that's a work key. So Steve is not the right one. <laughs> Next! Okay. Oh, he does have the, uh, have the oh. Oh no. Oh no, 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 no. Fudge. <laughs> oh, I knew that was, I knew that was it. Aaron has the prison key, the cell key. I, I gotta knock out Aaron. That is my man. That's the guy I'm going for now. <laughs> now that I know that, oh geez, we're gonna have fun. Okay, so Aaron is my, my go-to guy. I just gotta catch him off guard. I wanna see what key you have. Ooh. That's a good key. That's the really good key. I actually want that one more than I want the other one. I can get the cell key later. The cheeky, ha, the naked is more like it. Only thing I really need to bring through is the staff key right now. Oh, and the shovel. I need to bring the staff key and the shovel through because I did make a lightweight shovel and I'll probably use that towards the end of digging. Let's see here, if I have this whole thing full, I could actually take almost all my stuff. I don't need to worry about timber. So before I get in trouble for randomly just having timbers laying around, I'm gonna be smart about it and not have any issues. Foil, on the other hand, I probably could use. Uh, a file has been kind of useless for my whole run this so far because I don't need to cut through anything that I know of. Um, I've just been using spoons to dig. And then after that, I'm gonna use a key to walk through the front door, so I should be fine. Um, these two are not an issue.
Okay, so one other thing I want to do. I don't really need two guard outfits. Oh, I probably should just get rid of a guard outfit then here. Hey, Rodney or Radford, I guess is your name. There's your guard outfit, you know, for your collection. <laughs> okay, so I think I have everything I need. I should have everything I need. And since I have the durable contraband, I've never actually used the contraband before, so I don't know how this works. I think I just walk through the front door and it should be good, right? Okay, so it uses 15 up. Ow! Why did you attack me? Oh, is this Xavier? Oh, that was Xavier. I attacked him earlier. My bad, bud. Does anyone have any food around here? I'm hungry. I'm apparently too tired. And even though I can get to the freezer, I can't steal chicken. <laughs> Makes me so mad. I love taking chicken. Chicken man is like my favorite job ever. Ooh, evening meal. Perfect timing. Perfect, perfect timing. Now, I would be a better cook than whoever this guy is that's cooking. Because apparently I can't even have the job. I would love to have the job, though. Leisure work period. Okay, so back to breaking through walls. Um, boop. And... Boop. Okay, there we go. And dig. 20% through. And yes, I'm not using my lightweight shovel, but the reason for it is because... Um, if I use my lightweight shovel now, I can't use it later. And if I use it later, I feel like I'd be able to get further um, in in the game uh, faster getting out, I guess, is what I'm going for. Because I'm going to have to do this at night again. And if I do anything wrong, I'm going to get in a lot of trouble. So I'm hoping to do everything right here. Let's see here. I need to do this. And there is my next spoon. Right now, I'm just making more room for my contraband right now, because if I don't have room, I'm in trouble. As I said, boop, boop, okay, there we go. Random that, oh, I'm gonna get in trouble if I don't get. What? Oh. Don't lay dirt around, really? Huh. I didn't know that was a thing. Okay, back to what I was doing. <laughs> I need to bring up my food again. I keep forgetting, don't work out so much. Oh boy, how am I going to do this? Oh, I could, I could drop something right here. Okay, good. I just keep running out of room. That's what it really comes down to until I can actually take out more room. Um, hey bud, I need you to hold this dirt for me. Ethan's like, what? Why, why'd you give me this, dude? I don't want it. <laughs> All right, so I have two more dirt and I believe I can, Ugh, I don't have any room again. Maybe I'll like set right here for now. Oh, I, I can set things down here. Yeah, I forgot about that. There we go. Okay, I need people to give things to. What? Ooh, taco powder. Yeah, taco powder. All right, guys, I'm giving dirt away. Free dirt. Rag, Radford, you look like a guy who wants dirt, right? Ethan, remember last time? Got some more dirt for you. Holy cow. Officer Shane, you're trying to, trying to catch me here. I saw that. I saw that. Okay, so what I need to do here is I need to make a brace, which is real simple because it's, it's literally right here. Okay, now... Keep digging. Also, how does contraband find dirt? Like, how did you, oh, that, that person, person's stealing because I found dirt. Or it, it, it like detects his dirt inside his inventory. Okay, so I need another brace. Of course, Sebastian, on my tail about stuff. Come on, Sebastian, bro. Let's be friends. Okay, um, can I drop? I can't drop that there. Okay, good. Okay, so we are finally getting some. Ooh, I almost brought my light shovel with me. That would have been bad. And also, now that I think about it, I probably also have that. Yes, I do have that on me. Okay. Okay, so now we are getting somewhere. I believe 
We're almost ready to escape. Now, the first thing on my list of escaping is uh, to get out. Then the other thing I need to do is, of course, find a way to get the, my identifications. And if I do it right, roll call, I should be able to grab my stuff and be good, right? Do I have anything in here that's bad? I don't. Nice. Okay, there we go. Um. Oh, fudge! That terrified me. I did not mean to go up those ladder. That ladder. Which means I need to get out of heat now. Which I think is 80. Ooh, Aaron's a guy I need to knock out, though. He's got a cell key. That's what he's got. I love how, how incredibly easy it is to knock Aaron out. You just boop. <laughs> Nothing ever happened. Also, Aaron. Thanks for the close. Hey, you what? There you go. Guard outfit. <laughs> thanks. Okay, so I'm going to go back over here. And I'm going to take advantage of the fact that I now have this. And go down here and grab that. And go. I now have a cell key. I don't remember why I need a cell key, but that's one of those things I have that I needed. Ow! Aaron, you're nude! Naked Aaron's trying to kill me again! Okay, you know, I gotta run. This guy's being a pain in the butt. Oh my goodness! Bringing up my. Brings up my heat so much. It's such a pain. Just because Aaron doesn't have his clothes on doesn't mean my heat should go up. Spoons! That's what I needed lots of. I keep forgetting I need spoons. Hey, Aaron, why are you so naked again? He still hasn't got new clothes on. That's hilarious. Okay, so five and f five. There we go. And go down here. Dig! Ow! Uh. Okay, so I've moved everything over. Okay, well, that's about all the time I have for today, unfortunately. Um, I will continue this later, but I actually have something going on in a little bit. Um, so, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave eight double ones up down below if you like it to see. And, uh, how did they catch me? Maybe I shouldn't do it during the daytime. I think that, that must be what it is. Don't do it during the daytime, and I should be golden. But anyways, thanks again, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.